I think we are up to some game shopping news. I would say there was some big news this week in that it looks like NBA 2K21 is going to break the $60 barrier on their standard release. Their cheapest release will be on the on the next, on the next gen. The next gen, yeah, will be seventy bucks. We don't know if that's just the new price of the next gen games or if that's just this game. Chip, what do you think? I'm hoping that there's more variety in prices. I don't like. I certainly I'm like not like yes, we could finally get to the seventy dollar price point on games. All right, uh, but at the same time, I get that games could cost $70 next generation. Right. Um, certainly NBA 2K is one that can try to get away with it to begin with. Um, the crazy thing with that one certainly is we all know just how much money they make on all of the microtransactions as well. Right. Right. Uh, which can't fault them for it. Right. Well, uh, Pactor was tweeting about it, and he brought up exactly what you said. And he thinks he wrote, "I expect a customer, a consumer blowback. These games are definitely worth more, but in an era where in-game purchases are increasingly more common, the publisher can get its extra ten dollars on the back end instead of the front end." And he thinks it'll be reversed by early twenty twenty one. What will be reversed? The price, like the he thinks that this is probably the standard price for okay. next gen games, but. Come next year, they're going to just go back down to sixty. But that seems I, the, everything goes on sale so quickly. I it's was just going to say it, it doesn't matter. Let them release their games at seventy, and if a game comes out in November and it means I play it in January, so be it. That's, it seems but unlikely. It, but you're going to be paying in fifty dollars instead of forty dollars. Is really the the difference? There no, for, I've for been waiting until uh, if, games I've been playing lately. The last few games I bought, like Borderlands Three and Darksiders Genesis. I waited for those games to hit fifteen dollars, so I mean, it's, if it but means you're at the games... end of a you're at the end of a generation as well. Like that doesn't happen first year of a console. I mean, it may just take a little while, but I don't know. I I think first year, yeah, go go after the seventy dollars if I'm these publishers because there's not a whole lot of competition in that first year. But what if I buy a game like Cyberpunk 2077 that has smart delivery and I just buy the Xbox One version of it for 59.99 knowing that I'm going to get the $70 version. You're a, you're a savvy free. consumer then. Well, that's, that's why I works. that's why I host the Cheap Ass Gamer podcast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you got this gig. Mhm. Yep. I mean, they've been games like NBA 2K have been getting away with, and I wouldn't say even getting away with. I mean, it's their business model. They come out every year with a sixty dollars version, an eighty dollars version, a hundred dollars version, and then and some more. like one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars version. So this isn't that. Quite frankly, it's not that extreme of a difference for a game like NBA 2K. I think we're. I think. Yeah. I think we're overthinking this right now when only one game has done this. And right. it's a game that's really hard to get comparisons against, right? Mm -hmm. Like th this is a, I, and to a lesser extent, but this is GTA for sports games, right? It's always it's in the top 10. As soon as always it comes in out, the top 10, yeah, usually in the top five yeah. for until the next one comes out. And then that's the only thing that drops it out of the top 10. It, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised at $70, but it might get the situation where we've had it before where first party or exclusives are like $10 less than the third party games. Mm -hmm. I think that was a thing for a while. In that was X a big Sony thing. Yeah. Yeah. One in the Xbox 360 PS3 timeframe, I think, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think PS2. Okay. I, it, it was a thing we've, we've experienced in the past, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we don't even know what the price of these. You can't even order these consoles yet. Is <laughs> right. is insane. Like it's we're in July now, right? And there's not peeps of pre-orders yet because they're all getting delayed. No, mm -hmm. they're still gonna want that money though. But they're gonna. But there's no one manning factories. No, there are. 
fa- factories are factories are going. No, they're not. <laughs> they're all dead. They're not. They're not. These aren't made they're in the U.S. The factories are up dead. and running. They all dropped dead of COVID. They made all the robots the before they dropped dead. Good. They're all dead. Robot robots don't get COVID. No. Um, and then so let's see here. And so, uh, at Alpo eight four five asks, and he wants to know if he thinks the smart delivery games will be seventy dollars. Do you think that Microsoft's basically going to charge more for smart delivery games? I don't think so. That would be a bad idea. They can't because people on the last generation aren't going to be up for the seventy dollars. Not going to pony. They won't. What if you get? But you get the new one version with it. But they they don't have the new console. Right. Yeah, Why would they, they pay ten dollars more? On yeah. Right. It's a good point. It's making a lot of sense. Hmm. I, I think they could reverse. I don't even know if they could reverse course. Microsoft can at this time because they can't get through a, a situation like that again. But if they were if they would have thought that this was the case, they could have always charged like, hey, here's ten dollars to upgrade your game. And we all would have been like, oh, yeah, great. Right. That's $10. fair. That's right. fair. Right. But, but now they've already let in with this. Oh, you get it for free. But only for people who participate. So they still leave the door open for any company who's not participating in smart delivery to have a whatever X amount upgrade. You know. They did that with Minecraft between the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. Where if you already own Minecraft, it was like a $5 increase to get the new version. Hmm. All right. Let's. Uh... I, think I did that and never played it. <laughs> right. 